It affects me financially because I'm doing everything myself. I have nobody else to rely on or depend on. It affects me financially because if any of one of my eight kids need something, I'm gonna give it to them instead of getting it for me. I put myself last always, kids first. And I'm working part-time, so I make, I try to make things work one day at a time. Once that help's gone, it just goes back to the stressful moment. Well, it's a little bit harder taking care of a boy, staying on him. I try to stay on him because I know it's hard for black men out there making it. So I try to stay on him so he can move towards a positive track in life. Boys, they're a lot stronger than girls, so you need a male role model in the household so they could discipline the boys. Boys don't really tend to listen to their mothers. And my daughter, I feel like I have to take care of her more. I gotta be more on her as well because she has autism and stuff, so I feel like I have to watch her all the time. I had my, my mom and I had my grandmother. I had help and stuff as the years went along. People passed away and stuff. The difference is back then when I was raising my first child, it was a lot easier, um, less stress. <laughs> now it's a lot harder, different scenarios, different, um, all kids have different personalities, so it's just, it's hard. It's different kid, different time, different age. It has its moments where you say, I wish, but it hasn't changed. Feeling still stays the same. I feel good. I feel great. Can't complain. I benefit because I'm growing with my kids. I'm still learning about them. Just take it easy and don't let stress get you. Stress is a killer. And if you need help, just go out and find it or call somebody and ask them to help you.